What's up everybody and welcome to the Weekly Flare episode 31. I'm James Walter and with me is the irritated man himself, Mr. Chris Garcia. Hey. And you're always something man. The something, the something man. man yeah. The bearded man. The irritated. The irritated. Uh, I had a good one last week too. What was it? It was something. Know. It was something. I always try something good. Something new. And it probably comes off terribly cheesy. But hey. We're the cheese here. We should have been the cheese cast. Of no, course, then they would think we're about like fine wines or something. Cheesy flair. That would probably be misleading. So maybe the weekly flair was a good yeah, choice. Probably. Chris, did you have a good week? It was a very weird week. Very weird. Mine's been pretty weird, but my work week's just been pretty weird, though. Not I anything. Say, I can say the same. Not near as weird as yours, though. Yeah, I don't know if I want to talk about you that. You want to share it? No? no. Okay, you don't no, want to share no. that on the podcast? No, because that's dealt with and done for. Okay, well, that's okay. Everyone's going to tweet at you now. That's, that's fine. Good, so. I'll, I'll private message you if you'd like to know. But it was pretty funny, so you should definitely message oh him and gosh. ask. I might, we might just do a uh, secluded. Uh, it was pretty funny. We should do a secluded part of it. You want to do a, a we, secret message we, for Patreon only? We can, yeah. Okay, we'll do a secret message for Patreon only about what happened. So, if you want to hear, I guess you have to give us a dollar. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, we have a week left. Exactly. Well, I guess a week left because we already ate dinner tonight. So, next Wednesday is our last day for the whole 30. And uh, it's been good. We've eaten a lot of steak, so that's delicious. It's good. And chicken and potatoes. And we had bacon this morning because we found some bacon that was not cured, so it didn't have like any sugar or anything oh, added. So yeah, I still am not a fan of eggs, but we eat eggs every morning. But it's been it's been good. I can say, um, since what happened to my sister, mm -hmm. my mom forced me, she was like, you need to get up every morning, make yourself a shake. It has like this protein in it and a trim. A milkshake? You make a strawberry? Yeah. Peanut butter? No. Banana? Yes. The only issue that I have with it is the protein shakes, I meant, not milkshakes. Yes, the protein shakes, yeah. They're, um, the, the scoop of powder that I put in there, mm -hmm. it is so powerful. It's not the greens. It's like what the, is it? It's like a trim. Is it like protein way? Is yeah. it like milk way? It's something to do with her company. I put like a gallon of strawberries in there, and it still tastes like vanilla. I'll show you what I use. Okay. It's egg-based, but it's, it's good. Okay. It's not strong. It has a nice kind of subtle vanilla flavor. I haven't been using it because we're on this diet and I, I can't because there's other stuff in it, but, but it's but, pretty good. I mean, I've been having... I know you can definitely tell that I've been, you know, working out and stuff. Oh, so, yeah. You know, it shows. <laughs> it, it works real well. I've been eating lean meat. Um, no, you gotta get the fatty meat. Fatty meat's delicious. Yeah, but... The thing with meat is if it's not processed and fatty, that's fine. You don't want the stuff that's like processed mm -hmm. and stuff. See, well, like we eat like chicken thighs, which have more fat than my chicken breasts. See, I, I would I eat the breasts. I like chicken thighs; they're more moist. Your favorite oh, word. Gosh, and that I, was an accident. I didn't even mean to at that ooh, time. I also eat a salad for lunch every day. That's not enough food. Well, a salad, a piece of meat, and some fruit, and I've been just drinking water. I've been eating like two pieces of chicken and a potato and like a piece of fruit. I feel bad for you. Why? It's I mean, delicious. This, this right here is probably the first sweet drink that I've had in about five days. Oh, see, I don't even miss sweet drinks. Cause, like, I drink a lot of Coke, but like, I, I don't like miss it when I don't. So it's been like whatever. We'll start. We'll get a water bottle with you. <laughs> get the Sani bottle. Uh, no, it's it's good. I you know it's been it's been nice eating different things. I definitely enjoy eating more fruit. That's been good. Oh okay. yeah. I tried to eat vegetables yesterday at work. That's no good. Of course, it was carrots and celery. So maybe if I had like corn, but we can't eat corn because it's a grain. I like. French fries. That's a good vegetable. That's a potato. That's a yeah. vegetable. I like sweet potatoes. We can have all the sweet potatoes we want. You can um, bake squash and it'll taste like a French fry. Mm -hmm. That's just actually You can good. take sweet potatoes and just chop them up, mm -hmm. cook them in like coconut oil. Pretty good. This is not the food podcast. No. What are we doing? Get I, us out of here. I like food though. I like food as well. We should have a separate food podcast. We should. That'd make Rachel really happy doing two podcasts <laughs> a week. Maybe I'll do it with her and you. You guys are the one that cook. Maybe. I don't know. Chris, how about we get into some news? That's fine. Okay, what do we got going on? We got the thing. Why don't you just like leave it unlocked there? Well, it locked. Here. It locked. Um, my favorite story this week comes from Oregon. Oregon? 
Never mind, you're from Washington. I'm from Washington. Which is right above. above. That's because we're better. <laughs> so they put us higher on the map. <laughs> what, what did that, when did it become a state? I don't know. We are actually asked to do that. I don't know when any state became a state. I know California. Why? 1850. It's just... Okay. It's cool. I don't know anything. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Pendleton, Oregon. I've never heard of the state, a city. Oregon. Uh, I've heard of Pendleton. State. I've heard of um, but, um, we have a 75-year-old man, uh, I guess he's just had some bad luck in the past. I don't know, he's 75, sounds like he's had pretty good luck to well, me. Well, true. His house, uh, is not in the best condition. The paint is off. So you can tell I'm kind of sick. The paint's off. So he's got no paint. No paint, not a painted house, uh, old paint on it. Just a mess, just a wreck. His, uh, deck was dilapidated. Wow, big word. Big word. Yeah, it was falling down. So, um, a, ki a guy, he heard two kids uh, just standing in front of this guy's house making fun of the house and just saying how they should burn it down. Well, that's not nice. Uh, no. He doesn't but live there. This guy, um, what he did is he got some people together. Oh, one said, guy or a different guy? A different guy. The guy that overheard this conversation. Oh, the guy that okay. kids, uh, Said, hey, he went up to some friends, some volunteers, like, hey, would you guys like to volunteer? And uh, paint this guy's house, fix his deck, and they redid it. And it's probably I, I've seen the before, before and after pictures. They oh, did yeah. a great job. And I think they also did some yard work on it. It as looks well. pretty nice. So um, that's awesome. So he just got some friends and they just went and did it. They yep. didn't even like donated the paint and didn't even cost the guy a penny. That's awesome. Just went and painted the guy's house, fixed his deck. Yes. So are those kids still laughing? Um, I doubt it. Um, let's see, some Who's folks... Who's laughing now? <laughs> Wait, so they got the last laugh? Well, some folks bought Bullock a uh, new set of patio furniture as well. Starbucks Sweet. donated six gallons of water and iced tea, and the lumber company dropped uh, by to help build a new porch. Wow. So, it wasn't just these people that decided to help paint. It was... Uh, that's awesome. A lot of different places that came together to help yeah, these people out. that's really cool. That's awesome when you hear stuff like that, of people pitching in to help out people just because they want to help them yeah or because kids are being mean and that's <clears> not nice and speaking of old people going up a step 10 years more 85 years old 85 years old we have a uh, arizona great grandmother i don't know who's great grandmother she's arizona's great grandmother probably wow she's old. that's cruel <laughs> <laughs> but she scaled mount kilimanjaro whoa in Africa, another big word. Africa's a big word? <laughs> I mean, it has a few syllables. Kilimanjaro. But... Oh. Everyone knows Kilimanjaro. Come on. I don't. Have you? Do you? I know Kilimanjaro. Apparently, I don't. Apparently, it's a big I don't... mountain. Apparently, I don't know my geography. Did you never play Halo? Kilimanjaro. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Killing Spree. No, that's 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 before Kilimanjaro. Oh, dang it. You never heard him say it? No. I don't think you would. Just... No. Um... Let's see, but they, uh, she decided to climb this mountain. She also got the flu four days into the journey, but accomplished it and defeated it and climbed all the way up to the top. How tall is Kilimanjaro? I... On a scale of one to Everest. I think, well, it's, I don't think it's as big as Everest. That's why I said one to Everest. I'd say a nine. But they say it's the biggest, uh, lone standing. The biggest lone to by someone that called it up Everest. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So um, there's no other mountains around this with this. No, exactly. It's a freestanding mountain. It's, well, all mountains are freestanding, aren't they? There's no little mountains around it. Oh. <laughs> um, she, but, but she put it on her uh, bucket list that she, by 2015, would climb this mountain. Um, so she was hiring to raise money for yeah. a challenge youth fund. Five months to go. And she did it. That's pretty cool. Man, I don't think I could climb Kilimanjaro right now. I don't think I can climb. How soon did she do it? How long did it take her? Eight days. Eight days. Uh, yeah, but... I don't know if I could do that. That's a lot of climbing. Yeah. We went hiking the other day, and that was pretty rough. And that was only like a mile and a half or so. Um, they're waiting to see if she's officially the oldest woman to reach the top. So, uh... Was she going to go for Everest next? I'd like to see that. She should watch that Everest movie that's coming out first. 
Those guys are crazy. At least that she didn't do it in shorts like the other guy the last one. I don't know. I still don't know if that's true. Or not. <laughs> I still have my doubts. We always have doubts on stories. You know, we talk about a lot of stuff that have that we have doubts about. We're kind of a funny podcast. Anyways. How do you feel about tattoos? I'm not a fan. You wouldn't get any? No. Gotcha. I gotta say this. I don't have anything against people that have them. I'm just not a fan of oh, tattoos. You had, you, had to, you had to put that out there. Yeah, right? I'm not like, oh, you are got tattoos. I don't like you. I just am not a fan of tattoos. I don't, I don't mind them. I might or might not get them in the near future. Who knows? But this is probably the coolest tattoo I've seen. I don't know. I've seen some cool tattoos. You should get the one that's like ripped arm. It's like robotic arm. That's stupid. <laughs> I'd just get a robotic arm. True. We talked about that. Either. Yeah, we did. And that I would do. Everything's connected here with the weekly player. Um, because it's disconnected. No? Okay. No. no. <laughs> Alistar Campbell, six-year-old daughter... Uh... Oh my gosh, that was a confusing statement. Oh, more, more. Anyways, uh, she is deaf, but she's got a cochlear implant. That's mm -hmm. Another cochlear. Co co cochlear? Cochlear. I think, cochlear. That's right. I think it's cochlear. Um, some, some nurse or something out there is like screaming at their <laughs> computer right now. Like, oh my goodness. It's cochlear. We we'll probably know we're close. <laughs> she uh, got an implant. Just silent or something. Still probably sure, ocular. Like... Oh, I don't know. Ah, who we'll that up. Uh, but she uh, is deaf. Uh, but she got an implant in her right ear to help her hear. I've seen these things before. They're amazing. I've seen them. They're, they're pretty cool. They're really cool. Um, but I guess people that get them have never heard before. Like they're amazed. really amazed when they can hear and like. Yeah. They they work really well from what I hear. Um, seeing these devices, I can see how people can make fun of it. It's, it's even though some of those they're not are, small. No, they're not. But they're a really cool device. It's uh, like twenty years ago when kids like got made fun of for wearing glasses. Yeah, the same thing. That it's was just, a thing, right? It's just not. Oh, like braces. Yeah. No, it's everyone has got them. Everyone has braces. Everyone has now, braces. Except for me. Yeah, I used to. Never had them. Get straight teeth. Eh, mostly. Uh, but, you know, it must be tough. I've never had an implant before. I'd had no. tubes in my ears when I was really little, but so I don't know anything about that. I broke my arm once, had a cast. Did people make fun of you? No, I don't know. I was pretty young, so I remember having the cast, but that's all I really remember. I mean, I remember breaking my arm, and I remember it hurting. I remember going to the doctor, getting a cast, and I remember getting the cast taken off, but I don't really remember much while I had the cast, mm. so... It must have been pretty chill. Probably. I was pretty young though, like probably like four or five. Wow, so. what'd you do? I, I, so we had these stairs, this is kind of a tangent, but we had these stairs in our house and like we would slide down them all the time. Uh -huh. And like uh, inevitably you would end up falling down them also because you just goof around. Well, like we did this all the time and fall down them, no problem. One day, like I was like pretty close to the bottom and I fell and I landed just right on this like vent at the bottom of the stairs. I guess that's, that had to be what it was, because like I said, we slid down these stairs all the time, fell down these stairs all the time, was always fine. And that time I was like, I mean, probably like four stairs from the bottom, wow. three stairs from the bottom. Just fell, just right, broke my arm. That's it's just the worst like arm breaking story ever, because like I fell down the stairs all the time from the top, no par no problem. It was just as good as your dad breaking his collarbone when he was in Japan. He broke his collarbone in Japan. Yes, and he jumped out of his window into a tree. When was he in Japan? I don't know. He's but... never been to Japan. <laughs> Maybe it was somewhere else, but I thought he jumped out of his window onto a tree. He was never in Japan. Maybe it was in a different location. Oh, okay, let's get back Anyways, to this story. So, um, a father came up and he decided, hey, you know, I'm going to get a tattoo on my head of the same design behind my ear. Yes. And it went viral all over the internet. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know how it's going to help him in the near future, but uh, it's New Zealand. I don't know. Different. But I'm um, like a robot man. Yeah, like he's Lobot. Yeah. You, you know, know in Star Wars, Lobot? The new one? No, in, the, in 5. Oh my gosh. And Empire Strikes Back. I need to borrow it again. You don't remember Lobot? No. Okay, well, that was just a wasted. Yeah. Anyways, the guy got a tattoo on the side of his head that looks like the implant. It's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, not a fan of tattoos, but at least, you know, he had a good reason for it and stuff, so. And it does look pretty cool. It's good support. It looks exactly like hers. Yes. I mean, they did a really good job. It went viral. Yes, it did go viral. 
It was everywhere. Chris, what do you say we take a break? When we come back, we're going to talk about lettuce grown in space. We're going to talk about the alphabet. And we're going to probably talk about snaps. I'm going to throw in that drone, drone story. Oh, yeah, that drone story was great. Good. All right, so don't go away. We'll be right back.